This month, New Tech Press goes to Scotland, land of kilts, scotch, bagpipes, haggis, and some of the most innovative technology you've ever seen. This report looks at... This is Lou Covey, Editorial Director of New Tech Press, still in Edinburgh, Scotland, talking to people who are breaking the mold in technology. And I'm here with Andrew Mulford of IcePhone, and he has got a very unusual product. Uh, Andrew, can you tell me why you developed this product? What was the problem you saw? Sure. The, um, the main problem, I was ex-military medic, and uh, we had a problem, I was the UK Commander of Medical in the Gulf in 98 and we had several problems. One was that we needed access to the guy's mobile medical records. We also needed to have a piece of hardware for recording uh, what we were doing to the guys, but it needed to be something that we could use everywhere. So in the back of a truck, in a tent in the middle of the desert, sitting at a desk, one-handed, two-handed. And the third thing we wanted, the third problem we wanted to solve was giving the guys access to a piece of decision support software which would help them look after their buddies in the case they got injured. Okay, and you're going to be introducing this uh, phone officially for the market in just in a few months. Yes, that's right, yes. And you have, a, have it here with you. I have a mock-up with me. There's no electronics <laughs> in it at the moment, but I have a mock-up with me. Let's take a look at it here. Um, this would be a standard uh, touchscreen phone, so you can do anything you would normally do with a touchscreen phone. If you then wish to use this uh, as a little laptop, it will unfold like this. gives you a true desktop mode. It has the full functionality of a, of a laptop keyboard. It has a mouse pad, a left mouse, right mouse. And that gives you access to multi-key strokes, so control home, control end, which allows you to navigate quickly through documents. So a proper desktop mode with full functionality. You can also use it handheld. My son's a genius at this. We have space that comes up about every fifth character, shift and return, and you can actually do multi-key typing like this as well. So it's not just a thumb board, it's actually a proper foldable keyboard. If you wish to play games, it might sound unusual for games, but the military like games um, because they, it will, the guys will learn how to use the device. And also, if they can play games, the guys won't hammer tent pegs in with it. So it has then a multi-directional key, four games triggers, and four triggers underneath. You can also then fold it this way, so it acts as a PDA, and for the emergency services, there'll be a wrist mount, so this end is wrist mounted. The software is on a touch screen, you can put your hands on the casualty, treat the casualty, tap away, record what you're doing. It will tell you what to do next, record what you're doing, and also compile a handover report to send to the next guy down the line. If you wish to take photographs, the D key here becomes the shutter button for a 3.2 megapixel camera. If you wish to do video conferencing, it will fold this way so the camera now faces me so I can do video conferencing. If I fold it this way, the whole phone is protected with all this, uh, the soft elements on the inside. As a phone, it also has push to talk, which means that you can push the voice through the data sim and also speak to multiple people at the same time. It has dual SIM and a micro SD card. So that's the basis of the phone. So that's a pretty exciting product. Um, what's the potential market here in the in worldwide, actually? Well, we've got um, we've had a lot of interest. The software that we have can be at different levels, and it can go all the way from somebody with no medical training, really looking at the backpacker community, world travelers, up through trained first responders ambulance technicians, paramedics, pre-hospital doctors, hospital doctors. Within the UK alone, there are a million potential customers within the military and medical marketplace. Now, that doesn't include the, uh, the, the uh, consumer marketplace. We have already have indicative orders from pre-orders, sorry, for 65,000 units, and they were all from the consumer marketplace. They have a shorter sales cycle, and they were happy to give us pre-orders. The military and, and uh, medical services have a slightly longer sales time, but within the UK, potentially a million customers, and that will be replicated in most countries around the world. Well, fascinating. Thank you, Andrew, for the, uh, your time today. This has been Lou Covey with New Tech Press. This New Tech Press report has been brought to you by Scottish Development International and ITI Tech Media and DMB Associates of Scottsdale, Arizona.